Hey y'all, it's me, Eleanor, again. So, I've got some tips for you about packing your liquids. This quart size plastic see-through bag that you required for air travel to have all your liquids in here, including things like toothpaste, that's considered a liquid by TSA. I don't know why, but hey, we gotta, it's for our safety, so gotta follow these rules. So it has to be clear, quart size bag. Get one of these, you can get from Walgreens or Target or Amazon, I got this off of Amazon. Came, uh, three came together. Um, so this is my liquids bag and I'm gonna show you what's in it. And I'm also gonna tell you what, this is like valuable storage space here you want your essentials in here, the things that you absolutely cannot travel without. Thing, I can't be a happy camper without what's in this bag. So I don't wanna to have to cram anything in here that I don't have to, because there's certain liquids that have a loophole that don't have to go in here. So that's one of the, that's the main thing we're gonna be talking about today. But let's look at the things that me and my, silly self what I don't want to be without well they actually make Lysol in this small spray it's really nice for spraying down things in your hotel room the, the doorknobs and things um, you know they clean really well in, in hotels now I think they've really stepped up in a lot of hotels they're sanitizing because of COVID but I mean are they cleaning the outside of the door and the um, handle on the outside I don't know I don't know but you can spray it with some Lysol okay or you can get these like hand cleaning wipes you can get Lysol or Clorox disinfecting wipes these don't count as a liquid and your facial cleansing cloths they don't count as a liquid either even though when you pull one out sometimes they're actually dripping with liquid Shh. Don't tell the TSA that. They might change their mind and make us cram this in here. And you probably, if you're like me, you might wanna travel with one that's a little bigger than this to wipe more stuff down when you're traveling. Cause you don't wanna get sick, especially when you're away from home. That's miserable. Okay, so what is in here? I always carry at least a small thing of sunscreen. Even if I'm traveling in the winter time, you want um, some sun protection on. I found that the backs of my hands, as I'm in my 50s, and so all the you know the years uh, I didn't wear sunscreen on a daily basis on my hands, and I'm seeing you know some little age spots trying to pop up there. So I'm trying to be really careful with that. I might I might be a little little vain. I just you know one of my character flaws. Um, Merle Norman Foundation. I swear by this stuff. It is, it's the best. I have tried them all, literally, brand after brand after brand, and I always come back to, to Merle Norman. Um, I've got some Meaningful Beauty um, cleanser, or toner. I have the day cream. For some reason, I don't take the day cream out and put it in a smaller container. Um, I just take the whole thing. If I ran out of room in here, then I could get a um, small container like one of these. This has my um, Meaningful Beauty Night Cream in it. I could get one of these and I could put the day cream in there. This has SPF 30 and I really, I've, I used to use SPF 20 under my makeup and moving it up to SPF 30 has really done a lot of great things for my skin. I have hair gel. I, my hair is naturally curly and especially in North Carolina's humidity, the hair goes crazy. So I have to have this. Can't travel without that. Um, I have the cleanser from Meaningful Beauty. I have my own sh the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I like a shampoo and conditioner with tea tree oil. And um, I find my scalp is really dry and it, it gets itchy. And um, so I, li I really like these shampoos 
and conditioners. So I carry those in here. And, you know, you can get those small tubes of toothpaste. You probably get them from your dentist every time you go for a cleaning. And they give you a nice toothbrush and small thing of toothpaste and some floss. Well, those are great for putting in here because your toothpaste is counted as a liquid by TSA. So it has to go in here. And, uh, but what if you like a toothpaste that you can't find in a small tube, a small travel tube? My favorite toothpaste is Arm & Hammer um, for sensitive teeth. It's just the flavor of it and the way it leaves my teeth feeling, I really like it. And they don't, I don't, have never found a small tube of that. So I put some in here and this is what I travel with. I love it, absolutely love it. So that's what goes in my liquids bag. But you don't wanna put stuff in here if it doesn't have to go in here. Things like medication that are liquid, insulin, eye drops, um, your inhaler, those can go in the separate bag, like I said. You put them in here. And your hand sanitizer, you can carry up to 12 ounces of hand sanitizer and it doesn't have to go in here. Don't waste precious space. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. And um, leave me some comments down below if you to tell me what are the things that you absolutely don't like to travel without. Um, and um, any clever ways you have for, for cramming more of what you need um, into your liquids bag. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you later.